Hey guys, Pokemark here, back with another video, and it is Rebel Clash pre-release weekend, or at least it should be if we were actually allowed out of the house to go and play pre-releases. Ah, yeah! uh, big sad face. Uh, but anyway, because we can't go out and play uh, like good children, uh, we've been forced to buy stuff and then play at home, and um, because we are grounded. So I went in ahead and bought a booster box, which comes with the pre-release kits so yes i have 10 kits available and a whole booster box uh, i've got more on the way as well but this is especially from my local game store so yeah we're going to start cracking into these very very quickly and um, i'm going to do five tonight and then we're going to do a few more over the space of the next few days just so i can spread them out and make them last longer than they actually would do in our normal pre-release so if you're not uh, are familiar with the pre-releases um, your local game shop will do a pre-release you'll pay well for for me it's £20 and you'll get one of these which is a pre-release kit build and battle box it comes with an evolution pack of 23 cards four booster packs and a code card for the game um, so usually these do have at least one pull in them some do have less because you never know it's random packs and the build them out of a booster box so you will eventually pull something that's not really as good as the rest of them but in terms of these these usually do come with at least one i'm quite happy with them so we'll do five today so let's get this whole side out <clears throat> move these ever so gently off to the side for me So, what would you you'd be tasked to do when you're in your local store, when you're playing this, when you get given the time frame of 30 minutes to build the deck, you will open it and you will make a 40 card deck out of the packs you get in there. Obviously, you don't get energies, but you get energy in the, pack, in the booster packs, but not in the actual kits themselves. So, you will require energy, which your local store will hold. They do come with these boxes usually, but... I don't want them, so we, got, we didn't bother taking from the shop. <clears throat> so what you do is you go in here and then you pick your promo out, and right away there is Garbador. Now I do like this promo; it goes really well with um, Toxtricity because you can leave it poisoned, and then Toxtricity does a lot more damage. So uh, let's crack open these now. I will apologise to you because normally I would give the code cards out, but because it's a new set and I want to play online, I will be keeping the codes myself. So, sorry if you've come especially for them. It's tough. So, so you get special energies then. So, special energy, Professor's Research, Sonia, which is a very new card from this set. Shinx. Let's just go through these. So, you get the Shinx, Luxio and Lux Ray, you get your Trubbish for your Gabador. Yeah, you get, oh, wow. So I've got two evolution, uh, two uh, Professor Research and two Sonyas. And then you've got Impidimp, you've got Margrem, and then you've got Grimmsnarl. <clears throat> so that overall isn't actually a bad kit to start with. So then you get your four booster packs with four brand new artworks. I've got them all here, so we have Cinderace. I want the VMAX of that so badly. We've got Rillaboom, Toxtricity, and Inteleon. <clears throat> so without further ado, let's get cracking into these packs. Straight away, green code, uh, white code. Really, really good for that. So let's see what we get. Turffield Stadium, which is really good. Lombre, Harlucha. Bronzong, Toxel, Applin, the other one is a promo of that, which is really good. Darumaka, Bunnelby, Shinx, and straight away Bolton V. So if I was playing this in pre-release, then that would be a very good card to start with, especially when I did get the speed energy. So speed energy would be as long as you're, this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides lightning energy. When you attach it from your hand, draw two cards. So that'd be amazing, that. And you can use Electrify there, which is a really good attack to start with. So let's uh, 
move these off to the side, get rid of that energy. <clears throat> so off the bat straight away, we get a good pull. So Heliolisk, Dublade, Heracross, very nice artwork that. Bronzar again, Toxel, Litwick, Lotad, that's really nice. Clefairy, which is a psychic side now because they used to be fairy and now it's psychic. Cursola, that's a really good card if you can see it there. So it's got a good uh, ability there. And then Electivire. Oh, what is my look on these packs? <clears throat> So, we'll see what we get in this one. Indeedy, Charger Bug, Metapod, wow, Knitted Metapod. That is a really nice artwork. Vulpix, Phantom, Galarian Farfetch, which is a fighting type. Would have thought it'd be a normal type ready to evolve into metal. Scovet, Mr. Mime, Reverses Lombre, and <laughs> Elder Goss V. Wow, this pre-release kit is actually on fire. <clears throat> and it's going to be nothing from the last pack. But I've already got quite a few things. So, we thought that was full bucket or uh, something, but it's a capacious bucket. So that's different naming. I wasn't expecting that whatsoever. Uh, but that's a very, very playable card, especially with Frostmoth. Turfield Stadium again. Carcol. Voltorb. Growlithe. Dreepy. Snova. Binnacle. Appleton. And Ludicolo. So, in terms of that pre release kit, that's actually a really, really good uh, four packs there. So, we've got Elder Goss and Boltund. So that would be a really, really good thing. So if we look back at some of these cards that we have to make a deck with, as I try and sort them out, put that stadium on top. So the stadium, once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for an evolution, grass Pokemon and reveal it, put it into their hand, and then that player shuffles their deck. So that's not a bad um card to have there so we can obviously evolve straight away with stuff like that so you have to worry about trying to find your grookies and your revolution line of that stuff like ludicolos so that's really nice i've got two of them <clears throat> so if i were to use this uh so that would be quite good to have if i had grub in and be able to evolve off into that and then use its uh attack to Get more uh, energy on board. Toxol there with tight jaw. Heliolisk. So overall, it's not a bad pre-release kit to have. And obviously with Boltund, we can use the special energy. Gabodar can put to poison it. So we've got research. Sonya, which basically searches your deck for two basic Pokemon or up to two basic energy cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand. So you can't do both one or the other, you have to do both one. So Luxio, with its ability there, once during your turn, if you draw this Pokemon from the top of your deck at the beginning of your turn, and your bench isn't full, you put it on there. So you don't even have to use Shinx. And then Luxray, which is one of the other promos. And Grimmsnarl, which as long as your Pokemon is in the active... Your opponent's active Pokemon attacks cost one more. So we've seen that ability once before already as well, so that's not bad. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> On with the second pack. So what I'll do is I will keep them on a pile for there, just so that they don't get mixed up. And we've got another Garbodder. <clears throat> so 
Now it'd be interesting to see if we do get the same cards in this that we did in the other. So, got your Garbodor. No, so we've got the Roly Coley and uh, Carcoal there. Quick Ball, which we didn't get last time. We've got, didn't get Hop or Milo last time. We've got the Barboach, Whiskash. Submerge, as long as this Pokemon is on your bench, prevents all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks. So, it's pretty much Muse Barrier. <clears throat> Trubbish there again. So we've got Dan there. Draw two cards and your opponent, uh, you and your opponent play rock, paper, scissors until someone wins. Wow. So that's just never going to see play. I can see that now. And then we've got Grim Snarl again. So that's not a bad uh, pre release kit again. Let's see what we get pack wise. We've got one of each pack. And got in the white code. So this is what I'm on about. This is basically you can get at least one pull in every pa every kit. Masquerin, Hatterim, Carcoal, Impidimp, Bunnelby, Phantom, Dreepy, Farfetched, Lotard, and an Aegis Slash. Oh, I had heard this from someone else before. White code, non-hollow. So that is happening. Just be, be aware when you do get it, because that is happening now. So that is definitely a rare, but you got the reverse hollow and you got a normal hollow. And as you can see, that was a green, green and white code. So that is happening. So just be careful when you're opening packs. Once again, Pokemon being forever good with their uh, packaging. In the in the Sun Shield base set, we did have energy differences. So horror energy there, as long as your cards attached to a Pokemon, provides a psychic energy. If a psychic Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active and is damaged by an opponent's attack, put two damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So that's really good. Heatmore, Morpeko, Voltorb, Nosepass, Wingle, Phantom, Bronzar. Reverses Butterfree and Alchemy. <clears throat> so this box may cheat me out of a, a V card. Stun Tank, Full Heal, Sonya, Sir's Kit, Magikarp, Meditite, Military. Growlithe reverses Zatu and okay, so that is a hollow. You can see the hollow shine there. It was a green code. So Pokemon may have actually finally figured it out how to actually put the codes in differently. That is actually they may have actually figured it out. I'm actually quite happy if they have because you can't guarantee what you're getting from a pack now. That's interesting. If any of you guys um, have had the same thing, let me know what, uh, if you've uh, ended up getting a different pull from a green or white code. So let's have a look. <clears throat> Masquerin, Nugget, Tranquil, Shinx, Sandigast, Rollicoli, Stunky, Clefairy, Reverse Toxel, and yeah, so another white code with another non-holographic so they've reversed it possibly right that's uh but we've got a white code and we've got bolton and we've got eldegoss wow <laughs> wow guys so we are really really in uncharted territory here we have actually got packs where you can't guarantee what you're going to get in them so uh, that's really a game changer for Pokemon. You can't weigh packs. You've not been able to weigh packs since the X and Y era. And 
some strange reason you're not getting the card you're expecting out of these as well so uh wow let's just put these to the side better <clears throat> Huh. It's an interesting theory if Pokemon have actually have got it right this time. Because people who just open packs and they see the code and then they don't bother doing it, looking at it after that. They just put the packs back in and leave them. So finally got a second different promo there. It looks right with the four different packs. Right, so, yes, yeah, so we've got Luxray, we've got Carcoal, Rollicoli again. Yeah, it's Bar Barboach. We've got Lightning Energy there. Hop. Then we've got Luxray. So that wasn't actually a bad pack, to be fair, for pre-release for the kit. Let's see what we get in these packs. <clears throat> So that was a green code. We really can't tell now. We really can't tell. So, Masquerain, Double Blade, Capture Energy, that's a new one as well. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides one colourless energy. When you attach this card from your hand to a Pokemon, search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto the bench. So that's not bad. That's a nice little setup card. Aracuda, Stuffle, Lotad. Growlithe, Rolicoli, and Butterfree. So that were right. <clears throat> so that's a white code. We'll see what we get in this. Masquerade, Dublade, another Catcher Energy, Stuffle, Lotad, Growlithe, Rolicoli, Meditite. Wingle and a phalanx, so you really can't tell what's going on this uh, this set. Another white code. <clears throat> so we have a Heracross, Electrode, Beware, Yam Mask, Applin, Hatina. Aracuda, Glaring Meowth, which I thought was completely different to what it's going to be for its ability. I thought it actually let you evolve first turn. Chatot and Cursola. So that were right. That was a white code with a hollow. <clears throat> and that's a green code. So we have Heracross, Electrode, Beware, Applin, Hatina, Arrocuda, Galarian Meowth, Surskit, Electivire, and a non hollow Trevenant. So that one was roughly about right, to be fair, for uh, what I've seen. Let me know in the comments section uh, what do you think to this theory. Have you actually had these cards? in the same kind of packs like that. Because uh, that's a very, very, it's very strange. Wouldn't have expected uh, that to happen. <clears throat> On to our fourth box. See what else we can get out of this. See what other promos we can get. See if we can get all four in this video. Nope. That's another Lux Ray, so we are going to be missing one promo, at least. Just see what's different in this one, if anything. Ah, so we've got Apple in there. We've got Stadium. Don't think I've ever seen a Stadium in a pre-release kit before. And we've got a Butterfree, the worst kind of Butterfree in the world for... So that is the same, and we've got the Luxio Light Rain there. <clears throat> I 
four packs, all different artworks. There's a white code. See if this is the same. So remember, if you remember from my, my original first booster box of Sword and Shield, I tried to see if they could be mapped because uh, someone said they may be able to be. They weren't. Uh, I don't think they'll be the same with this, uh, this set as well. Growlithe, Dreepy, Litwick and Dracapult. So that's a good deck in itself, uh, Dracapult. <clears throat> it's not a bad pull. If you're new to the channel, hello, welcome to it. I do try and post a few videos a week and uh, with this new set out and the new cards I'm going to be pulling, hopefully I will be getting some decent stuff. Uh, but if you do like the content, do give us a like and subscribe and share the content so I can keep cre creating it. That's a really nice cipher. Uh, Toxel and Toxtricity V. Finally, we're off the ball there with this one. Uh, I'm going to be building a deck around this with the Garbodor from the pre-release. So, uh, with a bit of luck, I'll be able to get a few VMAXs today. That's a green code, so uh, chances are no, I'm not in this pack. Although we aren't sure anymore. We don't know what's happening with these packs. Tranquil, Hatina, Scyther, Nosepass, Wingle, Coffin, Meditite, and a non hollow mandibuzz. So that's about right. <clears throat> that's another green code. Still to, not to pull any trainers, I don't think, out of these packs that are worthwhile using. Wanting the boss's orders if possible. So we've, oh, there we go, straight away. Speak too soon. So that's Skylar. It's a reprint of an old X and Y card. Time Pole, Vullaby, Corsola, Toxel, Mr. Mime, Reverse Zeppelin, and a Barrascuda. So th that was probably the best box I've had so far. I know I've got two pulls in the first box, but to be fair, I don't really need the other two cards just yet. I just want as many to uh, Toxtricities as I can get. So, on to the final box of this video. Um, hopefully we'll have, the puzzle will continue. If you tune in later in uh, later on next week, I will be posting another video for the other half of this box and then the booster box. Uh, I'm unsure whether I will actually post it as two or not. Depends if the mail stuff arrives on time. So we have got Flapple, which is quite good. So at least we've got three of the four promos out of this box so far. <clears throat> so yeah, Flapple, Applin, Stadium, got Butterfree Line, Quick Ball. So that's not a bad pack. That's not bad at all. Four more box packs to go. <clears throat> And that's a green code. So we have Zatu, Tranquil, Medicham, Wingle, Natu, Barboach, Scovet, Applin, Beware, and the Ludicolo. White code. What do you reckon, guys? Gold. I've not got much luck with getting gold <laughs> very often. Finally, first time see Tool, tool Scrapper, so it's pretty much Field Blower reprinted. Milseri, Galarian Farfetched, Galarian Meowth, Caterpie, Cosola, that looks sad. Where is it? Spikes, Luxio, and Apathon. That's another one of that one. <clears throat> That's another white code. See what we get in this. I'm sensing full art. Shuckle. Oh, look at the cute shuckle. Oh, I like that. That's nice. 
berry picking, shuffle up to five base change cards from your discard back in your deck. Wow, that's actually quite good. Dan, finally got a twin energy. DCE for basic, um, non-GX and V Pokemon. Nose Pass, Wingle, Coffin, Bronzor, Reverse Magic Cap. Do you see? Do you see that? We've got a cute little Pikachu. Who, who drew this? Uh, it's no, I thought it was. <laughs> Copperage of VMAX. Yes. So that's another new one. No duplicates yet. I'm really happy with that. Wow. I do like this, though, to be fair. I do really, really like this. If your Pokemon, if your opponent's Pokemon's active, Pokemon's a basic. A lot of mine nowadays. This is 100 more damage. Wow. Really happy with that. Final pack. And we end on a green. So, start off with a Twin Energy, Phalanx, Masquerain, Impidimp, Shinx, Sandigast, Roly Coley, Stunky, Lampent, and a Magmata. So, overall, I'm not complaining. That's a really, really good uh, first half of the boxes. So, I'm really happy with that. Thank you for joining me and keep checking out my new videos for the latest uh, openings. We'll be back later in the next week with the next half of the box and then the booster box. So until then, enjoy your evening, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.